What's it like staying at the Cromwell Las Vegas? Find out next on Jaycation. What's up, JK Shitters? Welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. Today, we are gonna be staying at the Cromwell. Now, it's one of the more quaint and smaller, luxurious hotels on the Las Vegas Strip. I booked it through my Caesars Rewards. I'll tell you the prices and everything a little later on in the video, but there's really not much you can do in there besides gambling or check out the famous Giada De Laurentiis restaurant or go party at Dre's Day Club or Night Club or Dre's After Hours. We're gonna give you a tour of the casino slash hotel grounds show you a room tour and eat at Giada tonight so excited to show you around little horseshoe update the marquee big screens that they were building for months is finally up and it looks really nice they got Wiz Khalifa and Ricky Ross the boss performing over at Dre's the whole second floor of the Cromwell is dedicated to the restaurant Giada. Just so you guys know, there's a lot of street performers around here as well. So you may have recognized we're here at the Flamingo, right next door from the Cromwell. Well, I talked to the front desk and shout out to the front desk ladies. They're really nice. Shout out to Michelle. And I asked if they had a hotel pool because they have the rooftop Dre's Day Club pool. That's only operating Friday, Saturday, Sunday, unfortunately. And since I'm here on Monday to Tuesday, I was like, oh, I wanted some pool time because this is perfect weather. And she was like, oh, well, if you present your room key over here at the Flamingo, you can go to the pool over here. It's a 21 and over pool, so you gotta present your ID as well. But another place you can go to is the Caesars Palace pools, which you guys know, that's one of my favorite pools. So if you go there, you present your Cromwell room key and you can get into the Caesars Palace pool. So that's a really good quirk and deal that they offer at the Cromwell. So three pools for the price of one. Las Vegas can definitely have its vices. Whether it's gambling, alcohol, or any other type of addiction, sometimes Sin City may get the best of us. And that's where today's sponsor, BetterHelp, can come in and assist you. BetterHelp is basically online therapy and you have access to thousands of professionals who can help you go through what you're struggling with and just sort through your emotions. What's great about BetterHelp is you can access your therapist through the app. If you're in Vegas and you're going through a rut, you can actually get a hold of them while you're there. Instead of having to go home, set an appointment, get your insurance done, and get face to face with a therapist. I'll tell you what, there's times as a digital nomad and a digital creator where I do want to speak to somebody professionally. And with BetterHelp, I have access to that. What's great about BetterHelp is that they will match you with the right therapist that you want, whether it's a male or a female email or somebody that specializes on a certain subject, they will make sure that they take care of you and get you the right therapist. For you first time users, good news is if you use betterhelp.com slash JJ, you get 10% off your first session with a therapist. If you're in need of any type of help mentally and you need to speak with someone, contact BetterHelp. And now let's start off with the Cromwell Las Vegas hotel tour. This is one of the Las Vegas Boulevard entrances to the Cromwell. And there's Giada De Laurentiis. We're gonna be eating there later on in this video. Guys, check out the traffic on Las Vegas Boulevard. They closed down one way, and there's only two one-lane streets here right now, and the traffic is horrible. And this is the Uber drop-off, and right across the way is the Cromwell's parking. And with Diamond, you get free parking. All the carpet down the hallways and here by the elevator are French words and sayings, and there's even some English quotes quotes here as well. I like the decorations, black and gold. Each elevator area also has this uh, seating area, cream bench here. If I'm not mistaken, this used to be the Barbary Coast. It has a little bit of old wear and tear to it, and there's only two elevators that'll take you up to the hotel rooms. This is the lobby elevator area, mirrors, and then they also have ads for certain things for Caesars Rewards going on. I love the decorations here, the nice chandelier. And it's not that big of a casino floor, it's only one big rectangular area here. This is the round bar right by check-in and the Caesars Sportsbook. And you also got high limit slots here. Ah, they do have a quaint gym area. We'll have to check that out later on. But here's the lobby area. Here in the reception lobby area, you can see to the round bar, all the cocktails and high-end drinks over here. And this is the check-in area, right next to the drop-off area. Really dark and dim ambiance here. And you also got a Seven Stars exclusive access room in here as well. They have their hotel convenience store, Curious. They got some DGK and some Raider gear here as well. 
And if you need to grab some stuff, it'll be more pricey, but at least you can not leave the hotel premises. And this is their mini Caesar sports book right next to the bank and the Caesar's rewards. Behind these giant lamps are your high limit tables. The only time I've ever been here is to party at the After Hours Dre's nightclub, but it's also a beach club on the weekends. We're here on a Tuesday to Wednesday, so there's nothing going on here, but the rooftop is a beautiful bar. I've actually seen Drake perform here in the past. Dre's is a nightclub, but it's also an After Hours club where you can party after a regular club from like 3 to 7 in the morning. If you're here to party over here at the Cromwell, they do have a space called the Eat Well where you can get coffee, snacks, some sandwiches. This is the very front part where Las Vegas Boulevard is. We have a nice little setup, casino lounge right here with a few TVs. You can watch the NBA playoffs or whatever you want to see while you're staying here. Right behind it is where you can play video poker and they do also have a long bar here where you can get cocktails. Oh, there you go. Dre's After Hours is 12 to 6 a.m. Hookah Nightly. And this is the entrance. The other one is the nightclub and the day club, which is the rooftop pool. This is the casino floor where you can play blackjack, roulette, and slot machines on the corners. Made it to the fitness center. They got two treadmills, not very many treadmills here. Right across the street is the horseshoe. You have some ellipticals, some machines, and a few free weights over this way. Let's see, oh, you also got your abs and stretching mats and rollers, medicine balls. Pretty good deal. Not that big of a gym, but at least there is a gym here in the hotel, so you can get your quick 30 minute to an hour workout here. They also have mini towels here, sanitary wipes, just in case you wanna wipe down the machines. I'm really excited because this is one of the restaurants that I've been wanting to try for so long and it's Giada. Giada De Laurentiis. She is a world-renowned celebrity chef. She's on Food Network, has so many shows all around the U.S., all around Italy. Her restaurant is so good that she only needs one and she gets the entire second floor of the Cromwell. Just go up these escalators right here and we're gonna have Giada. Now, in order to get a reservation, you can do it on open table or do it when you're booking your room here at Cromwell or on the Caesars Rewards website. So make sure you reserve it in advance. I did it about two weeks in advance and I got myself my table for one. Let's go inside and check out Giada, De Laurentiis' restaurant, Giada. Giadzi, look at this. They even have some of her cookbooks here you can purchase. Really cool entryway. Nice little uh, waiting area here. You guys know this place is good when they have nothing but best of Las Vegas awards displayed here. Really cool spot. They got the menu over here. We're gonna have to check that out. Doesn't look too bad actually. Prices look pretty decent. And then you got the uh, Italian movie posters here. Il Processo di Verona. This way they have a ton of Giada magazines that she's been featured in. She is beautiful. I love her. There's your Giada gear. You can get cookbooks. You can even pick up some of these jars right here, some Giada placemats, some Giada silverware. I'm loving it. What a beautiful woman. She does have a nice specialty cocktail menu. Her G cocktail is very popular, but that was already sold out. So I went with the Giada's Red Sangria. You can get it in white as well. You have an orange in here. Nice and refreshing. Can't wait to try the appetizer and the main course that I ordered. They also have really nice views of the Vegas Strip if you got a window seat. So we're starting off with the Salumi Picante Arancini. Four arancini balls, scamorza, cheese, and pomodoro sauce. Ooh, that pomodoro sauce looks really good. You got the small salumi on top of the arancini. Let's dig into it. sauce, nice rice on the inside, nice and soft and warm. Mm. This is amazing. Great tasty way to start a dinner here at Giada. Mm. I'm also enjoying all the decorations here, murals, pictures of Giada. Nice and bright over here too, especially when the sun's shining into the restaurant. All right, the main dishes here, we got the bucatini. First time I ever had this was in Milano. My cousin's husband, Paolo, made some bucatini a la matricana from scratch. And I like how the menu, Gianna really prides herself on phonetically spelling the words like spaghetti and bucatini. And it's cool that she does that so that people can say it correctly, how it's said in Italian. So let's dive in to this bucatini. 
Really nice sauce. I love myself some red sauce. Bucatini is basically a pasta with holes in the inside. It looks like spaghetti, but spaghetti doesn't have a hole on the inside. Bucatini does. This is amazing. I also saw that they have cacio e pepe. I might have to try that out. So the Bucatini has Calabrian chili pomodoro. It's spicy, but it's not crazy spicy. I can handle it. They also got ricotta cheese with it. It's dessert time. Had to get the warm Nutella cake with the mascarpone gelato with nuts. This looks fantastic. I had to get some sort of gelato. There's a crunch to the nuts, so good. Oh man, it's like a peanut brittle with vanilla gelato. Mm. Let's get into this Nutella cake. They got Giada in gold on there. Oh wow. Nice lava flow of Nutella on the inside. It's like that Katy Perry song. Hot and cold, you're hot and you're cold. That's what it is in a dessert. Check out the cheese wheel they have here. Some jamon and their lobsters and fish. You can also buy Giada merchandise over here. And they have a wood fire stove, a little bar. And when they open up all the curtains, it gets super bright in here. All right, vacationers. so we're gonna end this with an Italian beer. This is their Manabrea Blonde. That was just an amazing meal. And I used my celebration, $100 celebration, Caesars Rewards credit. And you know what? If there's a restaurant to use it, you use it here. I used up all 100 bucks. You can only use it once per year and you can't use it in multiple places. So you really do have to sit down and spend that 100 bucks, which I was able to successfully do. Giada, I'm definitely gonna put this in one of my favorite celebrity restaurants in all of Las Vegas. Vegas strip because it was amazing. She is a great chef. I love her. She's the best. Cheers. Chin chin. All right, now it's time to go back up to the room. I needed to get a celebratory white Russian downstairs. Tito's vodka, Kahlua, and half and half. Lakers with the overtime victory up three games to one. You're probably seeing this video like way after and the playoffs is over and the Lakers already had lost, but whatever. I need that. All right, it's bedtime. We're gonna give you a room review tomorrow and check out a pool. All right, vacationers, it is time for the ever so famous room review at the Cromwell Las Vegas. So I basically booked the cheapest room and get this. I paid about $112 for Monday to a Tuesday and I kept checking after and it went down to $78 plus tax. It was about 89 and since I have diamond, I don't have any resort fees. So I paid $89 out the door over at G. I paid $20 tip and I had a hundred dollar dining credit which fit because I spent about 94 to a hundred dollars for my dinner last night at Giada so that dining credit that happens once a year is the anniversary dining credit they applied that and I just gave them a $20 tip but this is the regular room I was able to check in around 12 o'clock yesterday and we're on the sixth floor you could kind of hear people walking up and down the hallways we're two doors down from the elevator so it was a little louder this bed was actually huge but it it was a little too firm for my liking. The pillows could have been a little softer, but it was a nice dark hotel room. Like I have to use my lights here because uh, it's kind of dim. A little of a Moulin Rouge, gothy style here. Huge king bed, two bed stands. The bed lamps are pretty dim. As you can see behind me, you get your phone here. A couple of wall, out, uh, a wall chargers. They even have some outlets on the lamp itself and a couple of drawers. And they even have a speaker here that you could connect your phone to if you want it. Even though this room is kind of small, you do have a L-shaped leather couch that you can lounge and watch the TV. The TV is about 55, 60 inches, so it's a bigger TV. I was able to watch the Lakers go up 3-1 on the Memphis Grizzlies last night. Very stressful game, guys. And they also have this uh, coffee table with rolling wheels on them that you can move around, and they even have a chessboard on it. So if you have chess pieces, you can probably play chess on it over here hanging out. And then you got your air conditioning uh, controls here as well as a dimmer for this light above me. And then there's a double lock on the door, which is also a thumbs up. And then they also have two more outlets here by the wall. Over in the corner here, you have a nice velvet chair. You can chill and relax. A full-size mirror. It's almost a floor-to-ceiling mirror, pretty full length. And this large black lamp. And the entertainment center, the very bottom drawer has your safe and then the refrigerator and 
the snack bar. You guys know that's off limits. The temptation kit and all that good stuff. Way too expensive. You have a huge dresser drawer here as well as two glass cups as well as your ice bucket. But what I do like about Cromwell is they give you a Keurig machine. Now if you bring your own K-cups and water, you can use it, but they also charge you for coffee. So make sure you know that because the coffee that they do offer here, the coffee kit, it's like 15, 20 bucks. So you don't want to spend on that. So make sure you have water in your K-cup. Whoa, I just noticed they actually have a little Swiss army knife that says Caesar's Palace on it. Can opener and wine bottle opener. I wonder if you can use that because it's on the weighted sensor. So I'm debating if you should even touch it. I wouldn't touch it. Funny thing is they also have a romance kit and a charging kit as well right next to it. Having this Keurig machine was amazing. They also give you three cups. It was nice to just leave my Keurig machine in there. I'm sure I'll use it again tonight when I switch over to the Planet Hollywood Hotel. I also like this vaudeville Moulin Rouge-esque type frame here of a few girls and dudes hanging out by a balcony, probably waiting for a show or hanging by a hotel lobby somewhere in France or something. Moving on to the vanity area, nice old school light bulbs around your vanity mirror. They even give you two ledges where you can put your makeup or toiletries on, four outlets all together, and then a small little shelf ledge here for your makeup or whatever you use. I used this to eat yesterday. There's also a light switch right here. And then inside your closet here, they give you a decent amount of hangers, your luggage rack, iron, ironing board, and the hair dryer happens to be in here, and then laundry and dry cleaning service if you need it, and then three other drawers down here. Made it to the bathroom here. The view is actually the inside part of the Cromwell. It actually has like an outdoor indoor area and they just stage a lot of their furniture down there. So it wasn't really that nice of a view. You get a partial view of the Flamingo, but it doesn't really look that nice. And for $89 at a hotel, that's a lot more expensive usually. You can't really complain, right? And I'm on the sixth floor, so you're a little bit in the middle part of the building. It's not that tall of a building at all. Here in the bathroom, giant sink, but not enough space to like sprawl out your toiletries. They do give you your Jose Eber lotion, conditioner, shampoo, and soap, but I was kind of struggling maneuvering around with my toiletries when I was taking a shower earlier. You get your tissue paper and a bunch of towels down here and trash can. And then over in the throne room is a picture of a dog sitting on a throne, a little mini window that is all fogged up and a hook over here. And the throne was nice and low to the ground, so that is a thumbs up. And then inside here, I didn't look up, there's actually a ceiling rain shower as well as the regular shower that you can use. But I like the full length mirror you have here. And it has quotes in English and French. Enjoy the good life. Profit de la belle vie. It says, I'm not gonna even say it in French, but it says, enjoy the good life. To win without risk is to triumph without glory. Bless the ones who curse you, that's life. Say la vie. See, I can say say la vie. <laughs> and finally, you have this round mirror that looks like it's hanging on a hook, but it's, I don't know, it actually is hanging on the hook. And then two light strips down here. So very bright bathroom. And what's funny is there's three different light switches to turn on all the lights here. So it gets a little confusing. And then this door right here slides in, slides out. So all in all, for $89 on a Monday to Tuesday, this was a nice stay at the Cromwell. And there is not very much to do down here in the hotel, even though right across the way is the Flamingo, and then just across the bridge is Bally's and the Bellagio. It's right smack dab in the center of the strip, but in the hotel property itself, you really only do have the Dre's Beach Club and Night Club, but that's not open until the weekends. And then Dre's After Hours, which isn't open until the weekends. So you're limited to activity is like going to Giada, which is amazing. Like I said, I think this is gonna be one of my newest favorite restaurants in all of the Las Vegas Strip. That Bucatini was amazing. The Arancini, oh, to die for. And then the hot Nutella cake. Oh my goodness. That was a lava flow of chocolate and the Baileys and the mascarpone gelato. 
and tell you that was worth it. And then small fitness center. So would I stay at the Cromwell again? I'll say yes. Prices and rates are a little higher. It's a little on the higher end. I would say it's like a mid to high type hotel for Caesars property, but you can find a deal on a weekday every now and then, especially if you have diamond rewards like I did. My overall stay here at Cromwell, I would say two thumbs up. They're really nice downstairs. Shout out to Michelle. She provided me with a ton of nice details about using the pool and just being around the property itself. If you want to gamble, you got everything downstairs. It's very quaint, easy. You will not get lost here and you're right by all the action. All right, JKationers, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, what other hotels would you like to see me cover? Whether I've been to it in the past or if I haven't even covered it yet, I'd like to know. I'm gonna be back here later on in 2023 covering more. I will be gone for most of the summer in Europe, so stay tuned for that. I also have an announcement. Please subscribe, we're almost to 100,000 subscribers. We're trying to get there in 2023. Like the video, it really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Check out Las Vegas 777 Let's Go, it's my Facebook group. We have over 2,000 Las Vegas lovers and enthusiasts talking about news and the ongoing around town. All right, JKationers, if you haven't seen this video on the Flamingo, make sure you watch that now and we'll see you in the next one. And in the words of JKation, stay traveling, Sin City. Let's go. Dun-dun-dun, dun-dun-dun, dun-dun-dun. Hey, hey.